Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 86 and a half inch long 6,000 pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. It replaces an axle on your trailer and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. This is a high strength steel construction. The axle tubing diameter on this axle is 3 inches and this is an underslung design and by that I mean the spring seats that your leaf springs mount to. They're welded to the underside of the axle and that gives you a low ride height that makes it very easy to load and unload your trailer. Now the spring seats, the spindles, the brake flanges are all welded to the axle. Now you might notice in the center here there's a bend in the axle and this is what will ensure proper camber angle. Basically when you install this ax axle the bend should face up and the label right here that should face the rear of the trailer. Now if that label happens to be missing, you can use the wires here that are coming out of the axle for electric brakes. Those should also face the rear of the trailer. But basically having the center ride a bit higher and the sides of that axle bent lower, it allows the axle to give just enough to compensate for the load that's put on your trailer. That bend will create a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires and ensures that the angle of the wheels when they're installed are correct for your towing needs. The result will give you a nice excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. Mm -hmm. As you can see these are a straight easy loop spindle, there's no drop to them. And being an easy loop spindle is nice because they have these built in grease circ fittings on the end. So once you have your hub and drum all installed in here all you have to do is put a grease gun on that zerk fitting and pump the grease in there. You don't have to disassemble the hub and drum and do your bearings individually. Once it's all installed you can just pump the grease in that way, it makes it a lot easier. Now it does include the castle nuts, the de-washers, the retaining washers. Now the bearings that go on here, they are sold separately. This part is made in the USA. Weight capacity on this axle is 6,000 pounds. Now there are two critical measurements when you're buying an axle. And the first one is hub face to hub face length. And that's measured once you have your hub and drum put on here. You'll measure from the hub face of that hub and drum all the way across to the hub face of the one on the other side and on this one it would measure 86 and a half inches with the hubs installed. The other measurement is spring center to spring center length and that's measured from the center of the spring seat all the way across to the center of that spring seat and this one it will measure 71 and a half inches which is usually your trailer width. If you notice the brake flange, it's a five bolt brake flange, has the studs in it. And one last thing I do want to mention to you is when we do ship these, we we don't ship these unprotected. What we end up doing is we'll put a light coating of grease on here to prevent corrosion. And then we have these thick rubber ends that'll slide right on just like that. And that'll protect it from any damage or from anything. And the same way on the other end there's one. So we'll ship them this way to protect those spindles. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 86 and a half inch long 6,000 pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles.